Hi, I'm Amanda from Omni. Welcome to our channel. Today, we will take a look at of how to operate the bridge cutting machine. In this video, we will cover everything about operate, including how to mount on the saw and how to calibrate the origin, how to uh, control the system. So be sure to stick around. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Omni offer full solution of CNC cutting, so every week you can learn something. Remove all the saw blade. Use a wrench to loosen the bolts and secure the old saw blade to a bridge saw cutting machine. Once the bolts are loose, you can carefully lift the old saw blade off the machine. Install the new blade. Use a wrench to tighten the bolts and secure the new saw blade to the bridge saw cutting machine. Make sure that the new saw blade is properly aligned with the guide rails. Chapter 2 Saw Calibrating Once the saw is mounted, you will need to calibrate. This ensures the saw is cut accurately and that the blade is aligned properly. To calibrate the saw, follow these steps. Number 1. Turn on the machine and open the control system. In the software, select the 6 0 option. This will open a new video that allows you to select axes that you want to calibrate. Number 2. For each axis, the saw will move until the pointer on the screen is aligned with the zero power mark. Once the pointer is aligned with the zero mark, press Enter key to see the settings. Repeat step 1 and step 2 for each axis. Once all the axes have been calibrated, the machine is ready to use. Chapter 3 Workpiece Origin Setting. Now the screen shows handle off with red alarm. It means handle controller is off, so click this key again to turn on the candle controller. Press the direction key to move the cutting saw to proper position. And the center of the direction case you we can choose high speed or low speed because we back to the work piece origin let's choose low speed let's set the work piece origin click parameter set click manufacture key input password 9 for four times press ok then we come to click a parameter here a, a coordinate will be decided by three figures C D E. Now we guide you how to set three figures. Click Z plus. When the saw tips almost touch the surface of the wooden plate, click 1, 0 0.1 or 0 0.01. You we can choose the move saw down for 1 mm or 0.1 mm per step. Until the saw teeth touch the surface of wood, then we press saw button. This saw will stop rotate 
when we press it again. Press it down again. Now we can see the saw touch the surface of the wood. So current coordinate is fine. From the screen, we can see the work PC value is three, uh, two, 208.6. So we input this value to C finger. Click OK to confirm. Let's set another parameter. So we click a parameter again, and now we will set the finger D value. Press A plus. We can you see we can we press the A plus. We can see the saw will change its angle to 45 and then press Z down until the saw teeth touch the wood surface. Okay, now we can see the Z value is 188.78. Input this value to D figure. For thickness of saw, saw blade diameter, center thickness of saw blade, please measure it by yourself. Press OK to confirm again. We set E finger. Press A parameter again. Press Z plus to lift the saw. Press A down minus to get the saw back from 45 degree to zero. Move the saw to X minus direction so we can see the trees of the saw left just now. Use a meter monitor to measure the distance between this point to 1, 0. Click OK, save and exit. We can see the value is 254, so input the value. Import program file. Let's click Processing, then click Irregular File, Open File, and then import the program file to the controller. Import program to the controller. This can be done by using a USB drive to transfer the program. Use the head or controller to move the head saw to the workpiece origin. This is a point on the workpiece where you want the cutting to start. Now click all 0 to all 3 axes and this will zero out all of the axes on the bridge saw. Press R to start cutting. This will start the cutting process. Cutting mode. There are four types of cutting mode. SS. SS means two sides of cutting edge are straight. SO. SO means one side is with straight cutting and the other side is a blade cutting. So you will know OSOO mode. Here on the screen. The red line indicates the straight cutting and the blue lines indicate a black cutting. Set up cutting speed. 
set the cutting speed. Here click the parameter setting, set the processing speed and the spindle speed, cutting speed, street speed, public speed and work speed, exaggerate. Now we press the direction keys to move the cutting saw to the workpiece origin. Okay, click zero to all three axes and press on. Table flip up and down. Stone sheet is very heavy. Press table up on the handle controller, then the table will flip up. Much easier for the material loading and unloading. Then press key of table down. The table will flip down to the machine frame. Safety tips. Here are some additional tips for cutting with a bridge saw cutting machine. Number one, make sure the workpiece is securely attached to the wire, uh, machine frame of the bridge saw. Number two, use a sharp saw blade. A dull saw blade will not cut accurately, which can cause the accidents. Number three, be careful not to cut yourself, the saw blade is very sharp. Number four, wear safety glasses and gloves when cutting. Number five, be patient. Cutting with a bridge saw cutting machine can take some time. Don't get frustrated if you didn't get it right the first time. Bridge saw cutting machine is a very versatile type of machine be used for a variety of tasks including cutting stone, granite, marble, and other type of natural stone, cutting concrete, brick, and other types of masonry, cutting tile, glass, and other types of hard materials, making precise cutting for things like countertops, sinks, and other custom projects. The intelligent 5-axis bridge cutting machine is a full-featured 5-axis processing equipment. The machine head can rotate 360 degrees. Cutting, engine, chamfering, rounding, and other multifunction interactive Integrated Intelligent Operating System, easy to learn. 
horizontal vertical arc, circular arbitrary angle shape cutting. The machine head can move and rotate freely. In addition to cutting shapes, it can also cut materials like large boards, transferring at 45 degrees, open potholes, stove holes, and to cut oblique lines. Thanks for taking time to watch this video. And Omni CNC offer full solution of CC cutting. I hope to see you in next video. Please subscribe us.